Flossing is important to clean between your teeth. If people don't clean between their teeth, plaque develops and, and can cause periodontal disease and gingival inflammation. Flossing is technique sensitive. Many people do floss, but they floss improperly. They don't get the full benefit of the process. You have to be committed to keeping your mouth clean. Start by taking a big piece of floss, wrap it around these fingers, and put it between your thumb and your forefingers. Keep the piece that you're using about an inch, inch and a half. Then, using your fingers to guide the floss, gently insert it between the, your teeth. Then, using your fingers, make a C and make an up and down motion gently. Then do the other side, and, and you can switch fingers. You have to and guide with your fingertips. This way, the entire surface will get clean. Many people floss improperly, and they either floss like this, or they floss like this, but they don't make the C. They might make an L, but they don't make the C. To, you need to make this C shape to clean the proximal surfaces adequately. The floss is essentially is a rag, which is used to wipe the plaque off the surfaces of the teeth. In my opinion, it's optimum to floss every day, but if one flosses several times a week, they get much of the benefit. Any amount of flossing is good. It's really the same doing it on the upper part. You just have to develop your technique. The C effect is important. The floss is almost like a squeegee, and you want it to, to as much as possible, conform very tightly to the surfaces of the teeth. You must bring your fingers quite close together. You, just, you can wrap any fingers you want, just make sure to leave this free, finger free. That's perfect. Perfect. Something I would like to point out is that the back teeth are quite short and people have difficulty doing this motion. In the mouth, the back teeth are small, short, and you carefully work your way in, and this is essentially the proper technique for cleaning the back